this is a global network and uh, there are uh, a number of heterogeneities in the circulation of influenza, various seasonalities. And uh, India is unique and uh, it, it has a huge uh, population of about 1.3 billion and uh, it is uh, expands from it's the seventh largest country in the world in terms of the land uh, volume that it has. So it's the second most populous country in the world. And it is diverse, it's heterogeneous, it's very different from the rest of the world. And uh, despite the fact that we have uh, India in the northern hemisphere, it simply does not behave like the northern hemispherical seasonality that we have in Western European or Northern American countries. So yes, uh, it makes a lot of sense to be a part of the network, of a global network, which actually looks at the surveillance of uh, influenza in hospitalized uh, patients, because there are not very many networks that look at it. They do look at uh, surveillance of influenza as such. However, uh, looking at influenza in hospitalized network, uh, patients in, in, in particular is, I think, exclusive to this net network. And that's why we, I wanted to be a part of it. So uh, yes, it makes a lot of sense to be a part of this uh, network, replicate the data, and then probably analyze it on a global platform to see how best we can prevent influenza in hospitalized patients in our population population, and then maybe over a period of time roll out vaccination program in a more robust manner because as of now in influenza is not contained in the national influenza program and uh, one of the reasons is probably India doesn't have that much money that it can it can possibly give roll out a vaccination program for 1.3 billion people but uh, at least if we show that influenza vaccination is useful in prevention of hospitalization there's a possibility that it, it could be rolled out in patients in pa Patients who are at high risk for complications because of influenza, be it chronic pulmonary disorder, patients, patients with heart failures, or patients with chronic respiratory disorders. So all those with diabetics, uh, pregnant females, healthcare workers. So those are the groups of patients which can be focused on, and government can foot a bit of the cost, if not the entire cost. So yes, I believe that it's very important to be a part of this network. It generates some useful, meaningful data for the country, and then eventually use that data in prevention of influenza on the countrywide scale.